Hi, welcome to part two of Easy Home Brewing. Okay, now, so far upstairs we have a we've boiled pot of water and we've added our sugars and our malt extract, stirred it all up and brought it close to the boil. Now, let's go over the additional equipment you're going to need to do, to do the brewing. This is important. Now this just looks like an old jug of bleach, but what it is is actually sterilizing the solution. This one, you, it, you rinse all of your equipment with this and then you rinse your equipment with cold water to, to wash this off, or hot water if you want. Um, you, this you do have to rinse it off. There are some sterilizing solutions actually, I think one of them is called One Step, where you actually don't need to um, rinse it off. You can just wipe everything down with it and then you're done. Um, but anyway, this is the one I use, but it is really, really important that you sterilize all of the equipment that's going to touch your beer, okay? Whether you use very hot water or you use the sterilizing solution, which I would recommend, everything has to be very clean, because if you introduce uh, any germs into your brew, it's going to ruin, and it might even not even work out. So, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, 23 years, and I've never had an infected batch. And there's even been times where I didn't have any of this stuff at home. And I just used hot water. And I've never had an infected batch. But I can't guarantee that you're going to have the same luck. So please don't do what I do and cut corners. Do it the way you should do it. Go out and get the proper sterilizing stuff. Don't risk losing a batch. Okay, so sterilizing solution. You need a big spoon. A big, long plastic spoon. This is my spoon. I've been using this for a long time. It's quite old actually. It's been melted and stained and everything. This is a piece of hose. It screws onto my laundry tap so that I can use it to clean things and to fill this up when we're, when we're done, when we're at that stage. Okay. This is a five gallon um, fermenting bin. Uh, you know, it's got the tap on the bottom, which is convenient. It's got the lid. The lid has a hole in it, okay, which you'll see in a minute what that's for. And of course, again, I've been using this for a long time, so it's a little bit discolored, but it's clean and it works great. The last little thing you need, this is called a ferment lock. Let's see if I can... This, this, what this does is um, you stick it in the hole here, and see, while your beer is brewing, it creates carbon dioxide. And that carbon dioxide has to escape from the container. So. This allows the carbon dioxide to escape, but it prevents any air from outside from getting into the container and contaminating your brew. So it's like a one-way valve, and it's pretty important. And that would sit right on top of here, and you get everything all in there, and this is all sealed down. Fill this up halfway with water, put it there, and that's it. Okay, so let's, let's get this all cleaned up. I'm gonna use my sterilizing solution and sterilize all my equipment. And when we're done that, I'll come back and we'll do the next stage. Okay, my equipment's all clean and sterilized. One thing I forgot to mention, actually two things. You might want to grab yourself a funnel. Because if you use the same kind of sterilizing solution I use, you can reuse that and you, can, you want to actually pour it back into the jar when you're done. The other thing you might want to get, um, actually you should get, is a thermometer. Um, this floats in the, in the wart when you're taking the temperature and allows you to get this to the right temperature before you actually uh, finish it off. And that's pretty important. So you might want to pick these up too. You can make three cases, you can make about uh, three cases of beer for 20 bucks. That ends up being about six to seven dollars a two for. Okay, as you just saw, I just poured my wort into my fermentation um, pail, and now what I'm going to do is add cold water. Now, this is, what, this is what's happening here. You're going to make five gallons of, of, of wort, of beer, okay? You've got a gallon of wort that you just boiled on the stove and cooled down a little bit in the sink. You're going to add about four gallons of water in order to bring it up to the five gallon, five, five and a half gallon mark. But when you're finished doing that, the temperature of the, of the resulting solution has to be somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I do is I add a little bit of cold water, like about maybe three quarters of the, 
pail with cold water and then I stir it and then I take the temperature and then based on that temperature I might add more cold water I might add some warm water a mixture of the two until I get it up to the point where it's at the five gallon or five and a half gallon mark <clears throat> and the temperature is somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit this takes a little bit of practice you know at first it'll be slow and you'll be doing it bit by bit after a while you get to know how to do it and it's very easy and quick so let's fill this thing up and get her rolling there's a couple of things I want to remind you of before you do this make sure the tap at the bottom of your brew pail is closed you don't want your wart running all over the floor when you're doing this secondly if I hadn't cooled off my hot wart in the sink full of cool water I might not be able to get this down to 70 to 80 degrees. Okay, I'm going to stop it and take my temperature. I like to fill it up just above this little rim here. That gives me uh, just over five gallons of water and I find that that's good for me. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, it's okay, it's too cold. It's about 65. So now what I have to do is I have to add some warm water. So but that but by the time I get it up to about here, it's between six, between 70 and 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So in goes some warm water. Okay, after adding the warm water, you want to give it a bit of a stir so that it all mixes in. It's the one thing that I forgot to mention, and it's very important. This comes with your um, your beer kit when you buy it. It comes with your your malt extract. It comes in the lid. It's brewer's yeast, and uh, nothing will happen to this until you add this stuff and then it'll start to work. There we go. Get every every bit of that in there. And then what I do is I just I don't get it sort of a wet a little bit. Just get it below the the foam. The yeast is going to consume the sugars that we put in here, and when it's consuming that, it's going to get, give off two byproducts. One, it's going to give off carbon dioxide. Two, it's going to give off alcohol, and that's what puts the alcohol into your beer. Fill this thing up half full of water. And then you snap on the top. In about a day or so, this is going to start to, to do this. And that's when you know that your brew is actually fermenting. I actually ended up getting my temperature um, at about 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is where I like it because I like it to be sort of high so that it starts fermenting quicker. In about a day or so, this is going to start to bubble. In about a week, that will start to slow down or it will stop. And actually about three or four days, this will slow down. And in about a week, you'll be ready to bottle this stuff. Okay? So it takes about a week to ferment, and then you're going to bottle it. And I will be putting a video out on bottling to show you how that's done. In the meantime, just to mention, if you are brewing somewhere like a basement where it's a little bit cool, you might want to pick yourself up one of these. This is a little heater. You strap it on around, around the uh, bucket and you plug it in, and it keeps the, the brew you know, from getting too cold while it's fermenting. And then you bottle it, and I'll be showing you how to do that on the next video. In the meantime, the most important thing is enjoying it, and it really does taste good. I hope it made this easy for you, and uh, happy brewing. See ya.